we present our CVPR 2021 paper called Discovering Relationships Between Object Categories via Universal Canonical Maps. In this work, we tackle the problem of learning the geometry of multiple categories of deformable objects jointly from images. Recent work has shown that it is possible to learn a unified dense pose predictor for several categories of related objects. However, training such models requires to initialize intercategory correspondences by hand. In this paper, we show that improved correspondences can be learned automatically as a natural byproduct of learning category specific dense pose predictors. Let's consider a state of the art method continuous surface embeddings, which we use as our baseline. It predicts for each pixel in a 2D image an embedding vector of the corresponding vertex in the object mesh. Therefore, directly establishing dense correspondences between image pixels and 3D object geometry. This method uses the machinery of functional maps to work with the vertex embeddings of different meshes. However, to relate representations of different object categories, it requires manually annotated key points across different object meshes. Our method discovers high quality correspondences between different object classes automatically as a natural byproduct of learning category specific dense pose predictors. It does so by enforcing cycle consistency between reference 3D templates as well as by a new type of consistency between images and 3D templates. So, no manually annotated 3D correspondences are required now. Let's look in more details at the proposed cycle consistency loss between 3D shapes. We use the vertex embeddings to compute probabilistic vertex correspondences for every pair of the meshes. After projecting a vertex onto another mesh, it should ideally be mapped back to itself, and by minimizing the reprojection error, we enforce a cycle between shapes. The second proposed loss is asymmetric image-to-mesh cycle consistency. Here, for every foreground image pixel, we find a corresponding mesh vertex and map it back into the image. To close the cycle, we minimize the error. Note that while we can close the chain in one direction, image to mesh and back to image. We cannot close the chain mesh to image and back to mesh. The first chain is valid because all pixels in the image correspond to a unique point of the mesh. On the other hand, many of the points in the mesh will not have a corresponding image pixel for the simple fact that at least part of the object is not visible in a given image. We we'll also introduce dense pose Elvis version 1.0 dataset and extended version of the dense pose Elvis. We improve the quality of the existing labels and significantly expand the dense pose notation pool for the same animal classes as in the previous version of this dataset. Here you can see qualitative results produced by our method on the animals video. Pixels with the same color correspond to the matching vertices in 3D meshes of the animals. Note that our model can correctly match elongated necks of the giraffes with the necks of the zebras. Our unsupervised cycle consistency losses provide denser constraint than a supervised dense post loss merely used in the baseline, and also explicitly enforce alignment between meshes. This yields better predictions than prior work for both dense post prediction, please see outlined areas, and for aligning 3D shapes of different animals. Without any manual annotations for the intercategory correspondences, we obtain state-of-the-art alignment results while performing dedicated methods for matching 3D shapes. Even in the extreme case of human-dog alignment, as shown here, our methods produce meaningful correspondences in the 3D space and consistent cross-category predictions in the pixel space. In the final slide, we are showing more qualitative results for 3D mesh alignment of nine animals. Our model automatically discovers correspondences across semantically related parts of objects from different categories without any annotations across categories. Please see our paper for more details.